Okay now, I want to say hi again everybody and welcome. It's my pleasure to welcome you to another Positive Talk video. While I'm here, I'm doing my drawing, okay? I'm focusing on my art and doing a lot of drawing here. I work on my animation and art, okay? Art and animation behind the scenes, I work very hard on that. But anyway, in this video we're going to have another Positive Talk and in today's video, in this video we're talking about uh, victims of bullying. Victims of bullying. I hope you're not a victim of bullying. Some some bullies themselves are a victim. Did you know that? Some bullies are a victim. They're a victim to their own fears, which make them so violent. You can watch another video of mine on here. I have another video which is called uh, Violence is for Cowards. And violence comes in many shapes and forms, but it can also come in just even the mindset of a person, how someone looks down on others. So v victims, as I say, come in all. I think a lot of people are like victims. A lot of people, anyone who feels negative, angry to the world and they want to be destructive or bring other people down, those people are also victims. Victims to their own mind. In their mind they're full of fear. They, f they have to prove a point. They have to show they're tough and they want to bring you down. Now here's a myth also, another thing that's absolutely not true. I mean some bullies do. Some bullies do know that they're bullying others. But a lot of times bullies actually don't go around and say, I'm going to bully this person, or oh, we're going to bully that person. No, they don't know. In their mind, what they're doing is, they're just carrying out what they think is right. They follow their peers. So if, I, if some kids or adults, okay, children or adults, it happens all over, sadly. People are just like that. If, some, if a bunch of people or enough people, where the power's at, let's say, are making fun of another individual or other people, then they will join that team. They don't want to be left out. They want to be part of the team. So they will also follow suit. And they trust their friends and they trust their family members or whoever it is. And they follow as in whatever they think is right. You can even see that in children. Sometimes we get some nasty parents in the world who are very abusive and very um, rude to whoever. you know. And then the children pick up. The children learn that and they start laughing alongside and and then and the parents egg them on and they encourage bullying without even knowing it or being able to recognize it now if you're a victim of bullying okay if you're a victim of bullying you need to understand that first of all that there are negative people in the world that are very confused twisted unhappy and fearful people should you be afraid of them always no we're, we're all human okay I was bullied when I was in school when I was young and I've been bullied for most of my life I mean in terms of, I'm not I'm not telling my sob story there's people that have been bullied worse than me but it affected my education in school I've known people I've known people that have been bullied too there's people that get bullied all over the world there's young people that are even trying to commit suicide and stuff in the world because of bullying as you know it, it happens in families too it happens with adults young adults older adults it happens all over the world there's forms of bullying in the workplace schools colleges wherever you get bullying I've seen bullying and I really can't stand bullying it's nasty should you be afraid I said earlier on a moment ago and I said no you shouldn't be afraid what should you do then stand up to them uh, cause an argument stand your ground fight them I would be wrong to say yes or no on this topic what can I say every situation is totally different if you stand up and fight someone, maybe they will respect you. Maybe they'll shake hands and the whole class will respect you or the people around and they'll think you're tough for standing your ground, even for shouting at them or just speaking back to them or fighting them. Whether you win or lose the fight or whatever, you, people may respect you for standing your ground and you're someone who won't take crap. But sometimes, okay, it's not like, you know, Rocky Five, where, where the boy, boy stands up to the bullies and and everybody respects him. No, it's not always like the movies, okay? Sometimes people will want to get revenge or want to get get you back. Even if you get, a, get into a fight, they might have people out after you. They might want to fight you again. It happens in prisons all the time, you know? People that are in that war, they're always having to look over their shoulder. And this is the absolute truth. Plus, if you get into a fight, you could really hurt someone or get hurt badly yourself or kill someone or get killed yourself you may end up in prison thrown out of a school thrown out of a job or whatever and it may cause big problems and sometimes even the good people around you they won't always support you uh, I'm not saying they should support violence anyway 
even if you are in the right, but I'm saying they won't always stick up for you, even the ones that you know you think would support you. Sometimes they'll turn against you and think that you were wrong for standing up, or that you know, and it's crazy, right? but you have to stand up for yourself. I would say if you need to fight, you definitely need to fight to defend yourself if you have to, but always try to avoid fights if you don't have to fight. Try to avoid these people and avoid, avoid negativity no matter what. It can be very hard. What do you do if you're in school or in, in the workplace or you're at home? How do you avoid that? But where there's a will, where there's patience, there's a way. And you have to find your own ways to get by day in, day out. But sometimes there may be certain things you have to do. You may need to do certain things. Move away, change jobs, move home, move whatever it is. T talk to someone try to build up your army of friends I say so don't live by that like you're a slave to society that you can't be uh, satisfied in your own mind but if you can and, um, content but if you can find some kind of company and some friends that will be good because it's hard when you're alone you need someone to talk to and someone who can uh, you can trust even a friend what if you what do you do if you can't but you have to try but the thing is um, you know don't worry about how many people don't like you or what they say Another thing, okay, there's this thing in the world where people say they're suffering from depression and anxiety. To me, that's also like an illusion. That's a, that's a myth. It can be true, but the mind is the mind. You should always be in control of your own mind. And you shouldn't feel down for the ways that other people think about you. You can check out another video of mine if you get time. I made a video talking about uh, self-value, okay, self-value and valuing the self. And a few other videos I've put on here talking about value and being positive. Now, um, so the thing is, you know, you shouldn't be looking down on yourself. You shouldn't want to kill yourself or harm yourself or put a message out to people to let people know about how you feel. Because at the end of the day, you're the one who knows. What's important that you, uh, what do you think is important? That you put some message out there to try to get people to think a certain way or that you actually feel good and don't feel so bad in yourself? So there's no reason to feel bad for people that are obviously feeling bad themselves or twisted, even if they've got a smile on their face and they're making fun of you. They're going nowhere in life. These people, you may think that they've got a lot of friends, they've got a lot going for them, but ultimately they're a shallow, empty shell of a person and there's nothing there for them. What you've got to do is try to avoid getting hurt by them, being cornered by them. Don't let them, don't let their words and things bother you, but just don't, you've got to try to avoid the best you can that to to not let it affect your actual physical if it you can't let it you know affect your situation it affected my education big time in school it's in fact affected a lot of uh, areas of my life but the thing is you've got to make sure you're out of danger if you need to fight i would say definitely fight for self in self-defense you have to if someone held your head under water for too long, you'd be fighting to bring your head up, right? You value your life. So you say you value your life. You wouldn't want someone to kill you. You'd have to fight or run away, right? To live, to survive. Like in the jungle, if some wild animal's after you, you'd have to get away, right? Yeah, it's a big dangerous animal, but you have to get away or fight for your life, right? Um, okay, so like, think about that. The people that have fought for survival and the people that have been striving to live. Think about everything you've got going for you. You, you're not a negative person, you're not, you don't hate others, but let's say, okay, people bully you for whatever reason, it doesn't matter what reason, whether it is a true thing or not, the way you look or whatever it is, the way you, your abilities or anything about you, the reason they bully you is because of the way you are. They'll tell you it's because you're slow, because you're stupid, you're a fool, you're slow, you're, um, all these things they'll call you, or because you're too nice, even, even these friends, these people that will stand up for you, maybe even older people, there's people that will come up to you and they will say it's because you're so nice and you're a walkover. If you're too nice in society, people will walk over you. Well, I just made a video before this one talking about confidence where I said confidence is a myth. See, if you were to stand up to these people, it's not necessarily the case that just that alone, you know, being loud and tough, that's going to always win the day. No. Being logical and um, sane is the, is the thing that you have to try to do. If you need to fight, you have to fight. If you have to run, you have to run, whatever it is. But, you know, um, don't bring yourself down. This is my advice to victims out there of bullying. And we can talk about this more if you'd like. But the thing is, don't feel down because of the way they treat you. They choose to treat you a certain way based on how they see you, whether it's true or not, whether you can see yourself or not. To treat someone badly is their own action, what they're choosing to do. You have got to not let their stupid thoughts and negative words 
bring you down. You know who you are. If you want to be a, a good, better person, if you have things about you, if you look at yourself and you know that you don't have those problems or you want to do good, focus on doing good. Focus on creating your abilities. Focus on learning. Focus on developing some abilities. Martial arts is good because martial arts keeps you healthy and fit in the mind and body. You're not going to be tough to like stand up to everybody and every time in a fight, but it makes you a bit stronger. It gives you some fighting self-defense abilities too, and it helps you keep your keep your focus, so you can focus on other things. And what you need to do is focus on learning many kinds of arts and things that you enjoy and finding peace, and you know, find self-content and uh, happiness in yourself in your own peaceful free time. And also try to find some friends and people that may stick up for you. Um, sometimes, you know, because people are so gullible, so silly, they won't respect uh, and value and, and respect an individual. They'll bully you or they'll treat you a certain way if they think it's going to help earn them more respect from others. So if the power, if, you're, if you start working at a new job and everybody, or the, and the boss likes you, then everybody's going to be nice to you, you know. But if the boss does if certain people don't like you, then... Other people are going to look where the power is and they're going to treat you a certain way. Even if you're a good person, even if they like you on the inside or are envious of you or respect you, they'll still treat you bad because that's how they are. So when they see your power, though, when you see your ability or when they see certain things, they'll either be envious as well. Even if you're doing a good job, they might not like you. Like people that have got a lot of money and stuff, not everybody likes them. Or like the presidents and stuff, not everybody likes them, right? So whatever good or bad you do, you can't base it on your qualities and everything about you to try to get people to like you. There's always people that won't like you. And in other situations, there's people that may like you, and you'll be so surprised. You may not like them. <laughs> but if you feel you're the victim, you are the victim. What you need to do is see yourself as a sane person, not like always right and have ego. Like, you have a moral person. See like yourself as a sane person and see the other people and what they're doing is just what they're doing. You're not trying to trigger them. You should be in control of your own actions, as every so much like, like they should be as well. Um, always take the correct uh, positive steps, I would say, towards doing better. And find ways of p protecting yourself without having to put yourself in danger, I would say that too. But definitely um, talk to people. Build up your friends. You know, it's, it's, it's no good to just follow the ways of others you have to be logical like it messed up my education a lot in school but I know that my avoiding certain situations helped me in some situ some ways because I could have been beaten up dead or whatever you could you've only got one body you've got to protect your body you don't want to get injured badly or whatever you've got to be careful and there's some people that have been beaten up killed and terrible things and in this day and age, you see a lot of people nowadays, a lot of young people are filming fights up and everything. They're heartless where they've not been taught any compassion. Where do, where do bullies come from? You know, parents also, we need to, you know, adults need to set the standards, set an example. We all need to set an example that if we don't want to live in a nasty world where we're all at competition with each other, we've got to respect all people and say, look, people are different to us. We don't have to like and value and respect everything that everybody does. We may look at someone and think that person's a bit slow or I wouldn't do things that person's way. But at the end of the day, they might not like what we do either. And, and everybody is literally different. Be focused on yourself. Don't be focused on others too much. Focus on your own power. Develop your powers and abilities. If the more wholesome you make your life, the more you develop yourself, the more you gain, the more of a powerful person you'll be in many ways. Find ways to use that power. Let these petty nobodies, they'll, they'll, they'll blow away in the dust of the wind, you know. They'll, they'll be sad later on. Because a bully is never really happy in themselves. And you, you see a lot of people that have like a circle of friends around them, but they don't really have good friends. And they're, they're, they're ups and downs in their lives. Some of these people, they can't get by with relationships or family situations. They're always depressed. They've got a drink problem, whatever. They end up in bad places in their lives. Sanity is the most important thing. Sanity and safety. So this is a message for victims of bullying. I was a victim of bullying too, but I don't see it like that. Always be like, striving for a safe, sane place, peace of mind, you know, and focus on some good. And do more for yourself than these people will ever do for you themselves or anyone. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care now.